Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys some of the progress with the Incinerate Totem character I was talking about uh, in the previous video. Now before I, I guess, jump into this video, I really quickly want to state that this build would actually work. You could take it into high-end maps. It should scale just fine. Unfortunately, I'm going to be discontinuing it and stopping it here uh, after this video just because it doesn't feel as smooth as other skills are. And I'm going to explain that in this, I guess, uh, video here. So I'm currently running Double Totem with Incinerate. We're running Incinerate, Increased Critical Strikes, Fire Pen, Faster Casting, f uh, Faster Projectile, Spell Totem. Um, this is the links I've got. I'm sure you can mess around with some other stuff. People who are going to ask why I'm using Faster Casting instead of Elemental Focus. Think of faster casting like a multiplier for incinerate. The faster it gets into its stages, the faster it actually starts doing, well, killing the monsters, which means the faster you can move on to your next pack. Incinerate is a bit different than most skills. Uh, this is, of course, with a level 17 gem as well. So here's kind of the tree outline if you guys want to see a little bit of what it looks like. Uh, this character as of right now is super squishy because I just wanted to see if I could get it to work. Uh, and one thing to note is I am using cast speed jewels pretty much everywhere that I can get them, with the exception of the Reign of Splinters, of course. I thought there was another one here somewhere. I guess not. And then for uh, Ascendancy, all I have is Deadly Infusion. That was pretty much it. So I want to show you guys kind of how this plays and how this works out. For Flask, we're just using a Wise Oak. Uh, our gear, we've got Voidbringers rolled with cast speed as a corruption, just a standard belt. I don't even actually have capped res, unfortunately, but Wise Oak puts us at cap. Just some shitty rainbow stride boots, um, some standard rings. This ring has cast speed on it as well. Void battery, a 300 ES crafted incinerate projectile speed helmet, a 440 ES shield. And yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So my biggest issue with this build is not the damage. The damage could be scaled to be actually pretty decent. My issue is that Reign of Splinters alone, in my opinion, just it doesn't feel like enough to really, to really, I don't know, it's just, it feels slow. It doesn't feel fast enough. Um, I think having GMP really makes a big difference. The problem is, is like, there's no point in playing a totem build if you could just use, for example, like GMP. Um, Sorry, sorry, let me clarify. There's no point in playing a totem build if you are going to use GMP instead of Reign of Splinters. You might as well just go self-cast and use GMP, for example, right? So that was kind of like one of the downsides. Um, and when I really compare it to things like Frostbolt and Freezing Pulse, it just, this type of build that I'm playing specifically, you know, as a crit character with totems, it's just not nearly as strong. You know, Freeze Pulse, again, you get free GMP almost uh, compared to... Um, what Incinerate has, and same thing with Frostbolt. So when I was comparing it to things like that, it was just severely underwhelming. I do really like it, like I think it looks cool, I think it, it can be just fine, it's just, it's not anywhere near where I want it to be unfortunately, and I'm sure that when GGG does some new balancing and reworks and whatnot, um, and adds in new threshold jewels or whatever it is that they want to do, Incinerate will become much better. But I mean, this could clear, I'm sure it could do just fine in majority of content. I've got 27k DPS, I don't know what the fuck that actually means though, because I don't know how Incinerate works. Um, and I've got currently on my Incinerate, we're looking at a 478% crit multi with 74% crit chance on Incinerate itself. And I'm using Projectile Weakness, and the reason for Projectile Weakness is I can pretty much permanently keep like bosses knocked back with Incinerate when I set it up like this. And Incinerate also, or sorry, and um, you also get a ton of projectile damage off it as well. So that was pretty cool and I thought that was pretty nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like with Freeze Pulse. So I've got Freeze Pulse here level 18 versus a level 17 Incinerate, so virtually the same thing, just one gem level. I'm going to remove increased critical strikes because I don't need critical strikes for a 6% base skill. I'm going to use uh, critical damage instead. I'm going to remove fire pen with a, let's just use a level 2 empower. I don't even need a level 3 empower. There, level 2 empower, uh, along with spell totem, faster proj, faster casting. So these are not even very good freeze pulse links whatsoever. We're going to remove rain of splinters and plug in a first snow. And we're going to remove, um, I guess, one of the cast speed ones. I'll just pull out, yeah, I'll pull out this one. And bam. Let me show you guys how Freeze Pulse Totems works 
with literally the exact same setup, of course, you could optimize this so much more specifically for Freeze Pulse. Oh, actually, let me remove Haste because I forgot I can't really... Uh, my mana doesn't really work like that. <laughs> my mana has some issues right now with these Void Bringers. Now, with Freeze Pulse, you can see I'm sitting at a 95% crit rate alongside with a 600% crit multiplier uh, as of right now. And it it's actually feels pretty good. Uh, of course, I could optimize this more for Freeze Pulse specifically. Uh, I don't even think I would have to go Assassin, actually. I'm pretty sure you could do it as, like, an Inquisitor, and then you'd get even more cast speed. But, I mean, that's for that's for something else. Freeze Pulse looks really... and it, it Not just looks, but it feels really strong. Uh, and I'll show you guys in a second here versus uh, Vol, whenever we can actually pop up to him. And it just makes me a little sad seeing how, I guess outclass skills are now maybe it's because i'm trying really hard to just force crit incinerate work maybe i should have just done a non-crit incinerate version uh and maybe it would have went 10 times better with totems i really am not 100 percent sure i think the other thing about totems that kind of sucked is that because i'm playing a shadow i'm not really in the totem placement area and the totem placement for me just feels really slow the cast speed is great the totem the the totem placement speed is very slow and i already have a 20 percent quality uh, I have a 20% quality spell totem, so the only other way for me to get totem placement speed is spending like 15 points on the tree, for example, like, I could get placement- I'll actually, I'll show you guys right after this bull fight. Pretty sure he's coming up here in a second. Actually, yeah, he should be right over there. But just look at how- how beautiful this feels to just freeze into the abyss, man. It's- it's awesome. Alright, where's Mr. Vol at? Is he chilling here? Did I miss him? I think I missed him. I'm really good at that for some reason. Now, one thing to note as well is, um... Well, actually, never mind. There's nothing to note. Just kidding. There we go. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, one thing to note is, uh... My Incinerate, unfortunately, is not set up with the Wise Oak Flask properly. Um, I actually have this set up for Freeze Pulse. So that's why Freeze Pulse seems to be doing a bit more damage. I would get the extra 20% pen if I set up my Wise Oak. But I actually just realized that, like, I didn't even know I fucked that up. I guess because I've just been so used to leveling uh, with Freeze Pulse. Alright, so here is Mr. Vol. Where you at, buddy? It's so good! Like, it works out so well. I'm pretty sure that was just one totem doing all the work by itself as well. Uh, and it kind of just... It, I don't know, it just... It makes it feel like Incinerate is just kind of poo-poo compared to it, you know? Um, and the main thing is that whole GMP factor, like, having the extra projectiles is huge. Um, for example, actually, I can't, I can't show you with Rain of Splinters, but I was going to show you GMP plus Rain of Splinters, and Frostbolt kind of interacts the exact same way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pause the crit incinerate, because I've spent a lot of currency trying to make it work, especially suiciding one accidentally with a Caustic Mono Flask. So the next project is probably going to be a crit... I think it's going to be Crit Arc Mines. I have the new Arc MTX. It's actually like a... It's like a purple... I don't know where it is exactly. It's like a purple... Do I have it in here? Actually, yeah, it's a purple arc. And I ended up crafting a 700 ES chest piece, which isn't too bad. And then I felt RNG Jesus was on my side. So I slammed about 250 fuses and got a six link. So our build is already funded. Uh, so all we have to do is actually nothing. I even have a helmet for it too with arc three chains. So all I have to do is I guess just get the other character started and I have to figure out exactly what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be played as an assassin again, but I'll leave this character alone in case I wanna make a freeze pulser. I think I could easily transition this character into a freeze pulser. Anyway, I just kind of want to keep you guys up to date with what's been going on. Um, there is about a month left, I think they said until the beta or something like that. So I don't really know what I'm going to be doing from time to time. From now, it's probably going to be just selling, well not selling, but just getting rid of all my currency and just funding these really odd builds and seeing kind of where they go. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.